yesterday um, was my first blizzard in a very, very long time. I remember the winter of 2003 or 2013. It snowed constantly and it was bitterly cold. But until yesterday, you know, I didn't really like sit through a blizzard before. And it wasn't all good. The animals' cages. Ow. The difference between a blizzard and just lots of snow is that the snow blows. And, you know, I never really thought about it until yesterday, but my animal cages, as protected as they are, the snow kept blowing into this end of, like the rabbit pen, and just kept filling up his entire cage with snow. And so I had to keep running out here and figuring out what to do. So I just kept building up the straw on this end during the blizzard, and it was at some points it was kind of like a whiteout even. But I just kept building up the straw at this end, and um, finally we had it packed. He got it packed enough that it actually stood up, withstood against the wind. So, uh, and you know, I didn't even think I had this little thing tied up here. I was just freaking out yesterday because I wasn't expecting like a blizzard. And so, Mama Bunny, she came through it pretty well. Her cage was full of snow too, but um, twice I went out and pulled. Pulled, I just pulled it out with my hands and then stuffed new straw into it. And I did that twice during the blizzard. But the chickens had the hardest day. They, um, they were out when the, when the blizzard started. So they were already out of their coop or I would have never let them out. And next time there's going to be a blizzard, I don't think I will let them out. So they had to stand at one corner of their coop. Oops, I'm walking in Ray's garden bed. And, uh... They were covered with snow throughout the day. And so I started running down here. See, I made another mistake. I went out running around with a friend on Friday instead of staying home and preparing my animals for the blizzard. So that's two mistakes I made right there. Um, yeah, that being the big one. But they fared through it okay. Um, I just kept running down here. I, of course, I dressed for it and kept running down here and um, just kept adding straw until I completely ran out of straw. And then I just grabbed whatever I could to block the blowing snow. And so now, today, they're, they're recovered, they're calmed back down. Um, I just kept, I just had to keep coming outside and uh, had to shovel it to get into their, their coop this morning. But um, everybody made it just fine through the blizzard and now they're enjoying some sun, which I think I'm gonna take that heavy Sorry, my finger hit the button. So now I need to knock all of this top off. Um, yeah, it wasn't hard to keep the snow from coming through the top, but blowing through the sides, I should have put a little more thought into that on Friday. But today the sun is out and it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful day. I hope the kids that are out of school today because everything's closed, I hope they're outside enjoying this. I haven't heard too many kids outside. They're probably inside playing video games. But well, when I was a kid, I would have been I would have been out in this. I'd have three snowmen and an igloo by now. All right, guys. That's the end of my blizzard. We survived the blizzard homesteading video. I'm going to go knock the top, the snow off the top now. Ta-ta.